Alright guys, welcome back to the next part. We are continuing forth to where our mission objective has uh, kind of started, or whatever. Alright, the quarantine bay. We encounter our first little enemy there. So, yeah. Wasn't that lovely. With these uh, rainbow-esque looking doors, you don't have to uh, shoot them, I guess. You just run into them and they automatically open. <clears throat> Alright, now we can talk to the computer again and tell him what we found. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. And then you can see some kind of impressive 3D-esque sprite graphics for the uh, Game Boy Advance. They look pretty nice, in my opinion. Uh, the gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly produce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems that Metroids were in the main predecessors of the X. That is why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it also has changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by the X again, and now you can absorb them and use them for health and missiles and stuff. So, like it says there, without having a host touch them. The yellow ones are health, the uh, green ones are for missiles. Uh, to punish your health and store weapons, like I said before, you may also restore latent abilities this way to free you from X parasites whenever you can. The station is home to many specimens, some violent ones. You must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detective massing bio detecting massive biosigns in this region. There, the X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Yes, sir, it is. Now, get going. I have released the lock on level zero hatches. And you won't be able to do that for the rest of the game to unlock hatches. You are actually responsible to unlock them yourself. So, isn't that just a bundle of joy? So let's go ahead and get out of here and get moving. Well, I'm trying to be fancy to show my viewers I can wall jump, but honestly, obviously I can't. Okay, I was going to check my controller. I was seeing if it's on turbo. I'm going to turn that down just a slight bit. Just a little more. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, those green doors, you cannot open them. You need to release a security hatch, so we'll be going in this door. The gray, Any door that has flashing, you can open it. So, yeah. Save room, we are going to go ahead and save. Awesome. Alright. Let's go ahead and keep on moving. We add another navigation room. So now I talk to the computer again. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help you against some enemies that your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. The one marked with a D on it, obviously. Uh, is your objective clear? Of course it is. With missiles, your chance of survival increases to 20%. Well, isn't that just lovely, Captain Obvious? Let's go ahead and keep on moving. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go this way. Go up the elevator here. To get up the elevator, you obviously press up. I think there's going to be another story cutscene. Yeah. That computer reminds me of a Gruff Federation CO. I don't know. Uh, I served under the name Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anywhere else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect, with some irony, I named the computer after him. Wasn't that lovely, Samus? For any of you viewers named Adam out there, be careful. Samus has a fetish for people named Adam. So let's go ahead and go this way. And uh, go through here. 
save our game. It doesn't hurt to make, you know, lots of saves, in my opinion. Even though I don't think we're gonna die. Might as well, in case something random happens, or my computer breaks, and... Well, then, I just have to do all that over again. And there's the navigation room. We really don't want to talk to Mr. Adam again. And here's the data room where we get our first set of missiles. You get ten of them. Do, 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 do. So hold R and press B. Unlike before, when you just hit select and get them, uh, your R is now your select button. So there you go. And you just shoot them with your normal shooting button. So. And the power just kicked off. Lovely. Electrical interface has been knocked out has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try and find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bioscience, so I hope your missiles work. To reload the missiles, you can go to a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite, obviously the green colored ones. Uh, you'll see them try it out. Is your objective clear? It sure is, sir. Uh, missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. All right, then. Let's get moving. Oh crap. I forgot all about that. I was like, I know I have to do something up here. So you just use your new missiles and blast that open. Isn't that cool? Alright, just keep on moving here. Alright. There's a missile expansion. And we're not going to pick it up for right now. Alright. I'm going to head to the save room here. And I'm going to end this part. Hope you all enjoyed that and catch you all next time for our low percentage run of Metroid Fusion. See you all then.